Brother, sister, the celestial energy, brother wisdom. July 4th. July 4th. The last great stand. July 4th. The last battle fought against the Atlanteans. Long after the fall. We fought. We talked about this before. About how they used the Moors. How the Moors were used and given wooden nickels. They were given wooden nickels to, to fight against us. And they fought against their own. And they helped these orcs take down our stronghold. July 4th, the last battle with the Seminoles and the Iroquois joined together and created a strong front. Shortly thereafter, shortly thereafter, we lost the battle, we lost the war by the help of our own. The Moors. That's why you know people, our brothers running around here with these fences on them. George Washington said, he said they walk around with their fences on, you know, thinking that they're American. When in reality, they have no idea. We have stolen their identity. We have stolen their their education. We we fed them lies. George Washington said this about the Moors, who are actually brothers and sisters of the celestial energy. They use our own people against us because they had already fought us several other times and they lost against us. We stood strong. But now our people go and get charcoal and pops and meat and vegetables and barbecue sauce and spend lots of money on this dreadful day, same thing for Thanksgiving. It's the death of our people. But July 4th was the last stronghold. And that was way after the Civil War. July 4th was the last stronghold. Remember, after July 4th, they named the state Missouri. 1776, we fought a battle and won the war. 1776. What battle did they fought? They fought us, the Revolutionary War, July 4th. It was a revolution, that was a turnaround. And then they could independently rule our entire land the way they wanted to. That's Independence Day. Independence Day has got nothing to do with them being independent from the British. Because the British, they are British. These orc beings are British. British. Acting like the Brits powerful brothers and sisters who were in the, in, the, in the reign of hierarchies. They were deep into technology, weaponry. They stole all this from our people, but they got, they brought the Moors and the Moors helped them. The Moors helped them. This Moorish society, this Moorish jargon. It was the Moors who helped these orcs to defeat us. July 4th, and our people don't even understand, understand, overstand that July 4th has nothing to do with us and freedom. July 4th just signifies how much more enslaved our people are mentally, physically, morally, financially. Talk to a young sister and she walked away because she didn't want to hear it. You start coming with the truth, our people run away from the truth. Don't free me. Don't give me the key to free myself because I want to remain in these bonds. I want to remain enslaved. I want to remain with a closed mind, not knowing that we're Titans, we're Atlanteans. We're the original people on this land and our duty is to protect the land. Our duty is to protect nature. I was among nature last night in my meditation. 
I was among nature. And I was in a grassy field, high, high grass, with dilapidated houses. And I saw elk standing in the north. And I saw a deer with big antlers standing in the south. And I was telling them about these orcanings on our planet and how they're damaging our planet and how evil they are. And then I saw nature. I saw nature in the rawest form. No, she wasn't in physical form. Nature was in the form of nature. I saw a huge pile. And at first, it looked like a moose. And then it looked like an elk. And then it looked like a deer. And then it looked like a, 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 a bush full of flowers. And then it looked like a, a, a brush. Then it looked like trees folded over. This was nature. And I was walking in this tall grass that stood about four and a half, five feet high. It was wheat and it was grass. It was barley. I was among nature and I was pleading my case. And I told her what was going on. Nature always comes in the form of threes. And I told her what was going on. There were three houses. There were three different animals. There were three different types of plants. And I saw, I told nature everything that was going on. I told him how evil these orc beings are and how they've got to go. And, and she just sat there and listened to everything I said. No emotions, no feelings. She heard everything and, and, and I spoke up for me and my people. I saw nature. I was among nature. Our people will learn who we are. July 4th has nothing to do with us. This is the desecration of our people. The two strongest, the two strongest tribes, the Iroquois and the Seminole. And I have Iroquois in my blood, believe me. The Montauk and the Iroquois were two powerful tribes. But the Seminole and the Iroquois, the last stand, the last stand, X-Men last stand. Where you think they got that from? X-Men last stand. And I remember as our people, we were slaughtered by our own people. And these orc beings held them their flags and stuck it on top of the bodies of our dead brothers and our dead sisters, and they pierced their body, and the flag stood there and blew in the wind. The last stand. But never again. The time is now. 400 years is coming to pass. Never more, never again. All power to the multi-shocker celestial energy beings. Peace to you all.